The Doppler effect is the perceived change in frequency as a result of relative motion between the source and observer, where we remember that frequency is the number of complete waves that pass a point per second. So here we have a source. Note here that a source can be anything that is emitting a sound or any kind of wave. In this case, we have a source that is emitting a frequency of 1000 Hertz, which says that there are 1000 waves that are passing away from the source per second. So we know that if we place an observer within that range, we know that that observer, while remaining stationary, is going to experience 1000 waves per second, and as a result experience exactly the frequency that the source is emitting. Now what the Doppler effect tells us is it tells us that as soon as there is relative motion between the source and the observer, the frequency that this observer hears or detects is going to change. And there are two ways in which it can change. The first is when there is relative motion in which the source and observer are moving towards each other, whether it's the source moving towards the observer or observer moving towards the source does not matter. And what happens when they are moving towards each other is as we can see, instead of allowing those waves to reach the observer at the same rate as they left the source, by moving towards the source, the number of waves per second increases. So we say that the observed frequency is higher than the emitted frequency. This is because as a result of that motion and as a result of the, them moving towards each other, those waves appear to condense, meaning get closer together or compact, get closer together, which means that the observer detects more waves per second and therefore a higher frequency. By the same standard, if there is relative motion in which the source or observer move away from each other, as we can see here, as the observer moves away, the perceived distance between the waves is going to increase. As a result of that perceived distance increase, it means that they are going to detect fewer waves per second, so we say that the frequency decreases. Now, since the speed of sound in air is always a constant, always around 330 meters per second, in order for the frequency to increase, the wavelength must decrease. And when they are moving away from each other, in order for the frequency to decrease, the wavelength must increase, meaning the waves get longer, because those waves appear to spread out between the source and the observer, again, as a result of the relative motion. It's very important to note here that this is only a perceived change. This does not mean that the sound of the siren or the sound of the car's engine or the person speaking is changing. We know that an ambulance always emits exactly the same sound. And all that is changing is the way that we are hearing it. So we say it's a perceived change. The actual frequency does not change. It is only the frequency that we perceive. So once again, we say that the Doppler effect is a perceived change in frequency as a result of relative motion between the source and the observer. Because when these two, the source and the observer, move towards each other, the wavelength decreases and the frequency increases because those waves appear to compress and get closer together, thereby increasing the frequency and decreasing the wavelength. And as they move away from each other, the wavelengths appear to be further apart, meaning the wavelength increases and correspondingly the perceived frequency decreases.